Let's have a look at document and artboard creation in Affinity Designer for iPad, a beginner's guide. In this series, we're always starting with opening Affinity Designer on your iPad. On the plus toolbar, select new document. That's the plus sign at the top of your screen when you first open Designer. Click the plus sign and select new document. You can see it there at the left. A new window will appear and there's lots of options in there. When creating a new document, there are several options you need to take into consideration. Whether it's a photo, um, a web page, um, a print document, or just a design you're going to make yourself. And you can, you can prepare them as you like. First is the type of, type of document you would like to create. This can be selected via the menu. So you can select print ready or print or photo, web or device. And next is the page presets. Here you can choose what size document you need. And they come in a large variety of sizes. I urge you to experiment with these. Next is the document unit size and you can choose to set your document in pixels or many other different measurements and here you can see I have inches. It's a photo and most photos are come in inches in size. Now if you want to create an artboard you need to select this box where it says create artboard. Note that you'll be able to create an artboard if you create a document first. So you can create one or the other first. Still with creating a document first, colour format can be changed, but for most projects the preset RGB8 will be fine. Unless you're working in a print shop or working with a print shop where your work will go to a printing press. I don't mean a colour photo book printer, I mean a printing press. And then you have to change it. But for most things, the work you do on your computer, etc., RGB8 will be fine. The dimension option, you can change the size of your project to specific, specific pixel sizes and the DPI. This is good to use if you're creating web files or other files that need a lower DPI. You don't have to set it at 300. Any website you look at, the images on there are 72 DPI. So you can, can, you can save a considerable amount of space if you're working with the web by just setting DPI to 72. When you're happy with your settings, click OK. Your document will appear. Just a plain white background in this case, and of course you could have set that any colour you liked. At this point you can start creating, but if you want to create an artboard and place it on that document and have already started your work, you can select the artboard tool. It comes across on the, see at the top, almost second from the left, there's an arrow pointing left, there's a little page with three dots in it. Select that page and then you'll see artboards some way down it. Select that, but you won't see anything happen on your document just yet. Once the artboard tool is selected, you can now drag out an artboard to the size you want. And as you drag it, the size shows on it. But of course you can always change that size later on from the right hand side toolbar. It does appear by fault the artboard, you need to drag it out to size. Your document will now appear as an artboard, or an, art, an artboard will be placed on your document, and you can place multiple artboards on there if you want. So you can work in a number of different versions of the same design. If you want to create an artboard with no document behind it, Right at the start, you need to select that document, that option, Create Artboard. Note that you'll be able to create an artboard if you create a document first. So one way or the other, you can get an artboard. But by doing this method, you'll have no document behind it 
just an artboard. Your document will open as an artboard and you can see it there, Artboard 1, and you can change that name by the way. And that's it. Thank you for watching and subscribing to my YouTube channel. Subscriptions and likes are very much appreciated. They keep me going and make my day a lot happier. And there we go. You can scribe at my YouTube channel and there's lots of other videos there. Or just click on subscribe and like right here on the channel. My name's Robert Chalmers. I'm a YouTube creator.